Okay, I've checked my vehicle over, the Volkswagen Passat, and I found one problem, and it's to do with the cooling system. It appears the cooling system is in dire need of servicing. I'll show you if I can. We'll suck some fluid. It's supposed to be red. Doesn't look very good right from the start. So put it on. And can't get any better. See, it's nothing. Not showing anything. I can tell you for a fact, it's not even zero. It's absolutely, completely shot that fluid. Now another problem, we're going to measure how much voltage we have in the fluid, passing through the fluid causing electrolysis. We go with the minus here, wherever there's a good ground, and we stick the positive into the uh, fluid. And we have 415 millivolts, almost a half a volt of current in the uh, cooling system. Which is not really what you want with a modern car. Destroying the whole engine and everything if you keep it like this. I'll show you another thing. Volkswagen specify. Specific, there's a handbook and a GE12. This is really important. You can't put anything in this car other than G12. I'm going to put G13 in there because G13 supersedes G12 and is backwards compatible with all Volkswagen fluids. Okay, so I'll be draining the fluid now and flush it with distilled water because I don't know how much problems I'm already dealing with, I hope it's not too late. There's no other signs of problems on this car yet, but if I leave this coolant in, I can be sure the head gasket will be gone and all the rest will be corroded, radiator will be stuffed, head will be corroded, water pump will be gone, water pump surfaces will be corroded, the whole, the whole engine will be completely destroyed just because you don't want to spend money on a bit of correct cooling fluid. Okay. Okay. Now I disconnected the battery. I'm going to redo the test. And I'll show you. The coolant. It's acting as a battery now. It's. I wonder if you could even make an LED light glow. It's still the exact same electrolysis from the acidic property of my coolant now. Okay. 0.4 of a volt. Half a volt battery is disconnected. I don't think this vehicle has a second battery somewhere causing a power flowing. So we'll see when we change the coolant what the voltage will be. Okay, with the engine running. Point four. Oh. 0.4 volt, 
with the engine running. Okay, I've moved it out. I'm not terribly happy. I just hope that what I see on there is oil from the ground. Even though the uh, coolant felt a bit oily, smeary, but I can't see any oil floating in here. That's the coolant which was in it. And I've cleaned the bowl, removed it. Here it is. I already gave it a clean and you can see the crap in there it's not what you want cleaned it here as well and I'm flushing it now there's a danger I've disconnected it first and the radiator the drain where you have to drain it anyway and now this is the return I have to start it up every now and again so the coolant flows and the tap you don't put the tap on too quick you can hear my pump the taps here just a tiny trickle and you feed it into the, uh, the lower side of the bowl with a garden hose which goes through the system you got to make sure the uh, heater is on hot and then you hook up the return and you can, while the engine's not running, you can try and back flush it either way and unhook down there. I'll be hours and hours trying to clean it properly now. Because once the coolant has turned bad, you're going to have a hell of a job getting rid of the bad coolant. And then you can only pray that it hasn't nuked the engine. Because these new engines, they're not tolerating anything any neglect you're gonna have a head gasket you're gonna have cracked heads it's all coming if you think you're gonna get away with, with not putting proper coolant in your engine okay I'll be doing more flushing now you can see here it's all blue and down the bottom it's white just a plain water line. This is what plain water looks like in the refractometer. We now got minus 17 in the refractometer. So we got it. Problem is, we got to have it at 40. 35, 40 is where we want to go. Now, the issue is when you're bleeding the cooling system, you have to pump the hoses to purge the air, which I've done. As you can see here, rigorous, rigorously. But I had no warm air coming out of the heater. So I was thinking there's an airlock in there. Which on an older vehicle you'd think that'd be the problem. On this I don't know. We seem to have good return. It gets warm, it returns the coolant. The, um, I'm thinking the way it reacted, if you raise the RPM up, it instantly puts out all the air through the radiator of the in, of inside the car. Is it now the water pump impeller on its way out? It seemed to have returned reasonably okay. Or is this an emission thing? Like, are we going to have to blame the knotheads in California for this? Because at idle, the heat, because the diesel engine doesn't produce terribly much heat, so the heat is going to be used up for the emissions, for heating the DPF, for heating the catalyst converter. So they don't want to waste it on the passenger compartment because number one importance is no emission at the tailpipe. That's the knotheads number one 
issue. So has the car now just shut off my heating because it was idling and because you're not supposed, you're not allowed in Switzerland, you're not allowed to, to park up and have your car idle anyway, everything is forbidden there. Is that the reason why this vehicle is shutting, giving me cold air at idle? And I was thinking I have an air problem. I don't know if someone has has a Passat like this or a Volkswagen like this, have a check if your automatic heating systems actually giving you cold air when you're just idle. Okay. Now for the final. We'll go here again as we were before and into the fluid. And we can't measure anything, it's at millivolt. It stays at ghost voltage, just like when it, there's no connection. So, there's absolutely no voltage going through the fluid anymore. So if you have Volkswagen specific G13 fluid in your vehicle and you can't measure any voltage, means that your coolant is probably in a good condition. I may upload a video of um, thermal camera separate. Okay, thank you.